Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So weeks ago, I went live and used this setup or layout on my stream. Since then, I've been asking how I did it, so I decided to do a quick tutorial. First of all, I used two apps or softwares in my live streams, and what I used is the Canva and also the OBS. So Canva is a design tool that will help you design in a very simple and fun way. It is an app that um, helps you create a logo or a poster for your photos or for your videos. And it comes free, it is a free software. But since I'm a photographer and I use this all the time in my videos and also I'm also a YouTuber and I use it in my um, photos and in my videos on YouTube. So what I do is I pay a monthly kind of like subscription fee for it so I can use all the fonts, all the features of the app. And for sure, all of you guys is familiar with OBS, meaning Open Broadcast Software. It is a free streaming software that can be linked to any social media. It can be linked to Facebook, to Twitch, to YouTube, or to Instagram. And just a disclaimer, guys, I am not really a very techie person. What I am sharing right now is based solely on a beginner level. So that what that means is that I will only be sharing what I learned after studying and researching all these softwares. So let's go to the tutorial. Okay guys, so we are in Canva right now and we are gonna try to um, film or I will, I will walk you through everything that I do um, with the layout before I put it on OBS. So first of all, I use Canva to make the layout that will serve as a background for our stream. So what I do first is I, do, I click create design. Then I will choose YouTube um, thumbnail since it has the same dimension as um the live streams on youtube so i'm just gonna do that click that then after that um i will be um, i will be adding a background and i will show you later how you can have fun with these backgrounds you can switch it up and um, it was it is fun so right now i am just kind of feeling a little plain <laughs> so i'll probably do something like just my usual background so i'm just gonna do this one this is like my usual one so yeah, it will change that background a bit like that. And then after that, they can add some words or um, boxes, boxes based on your branding. So what I usually do is that I um, usually put, for example, what I do is I go to shapes or elements and then I do shapes. Usually do this shape and then I'm going to just um, put that or um, resize that in a way I like it. So we're just gonna put it right there. Then maybe change it color. I have like, the good thing about Canva too guys, it has like different, um, it saves your brand colors. So brand colors is like the colors that I just use because I want my um, YouTube feed to be cohesive. Like I want the colors to be the same as much as possible. So I have my colors saved here so that I don't have to like spend a lot of time finding what colors I will use or what colors that I use for my previous um, thumbnails. So what I do is I'm just going to change that up. Maybe this one. And then I'm going to put some um, text to it. So I'm just going to put maybe um, live with Melody. Sorry. live with so we, this is usually what i what i put in all my live streams so i'm gonna just gonna change the color for that hold on let me reposition that and put it inside there it's a little too big but we'll do it it's just an example <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect and then i'm gonna put another um i'm gonna go to elements again and then i'm just gonna use another um shape again and then resize it to the shape that I want it put it there I think I'm like just putting it close so yeah as what I've said it's just an example of what I usually do so I'm just gonna put it there and I mean it doesn't have to be perfect and I'm gonna change it to my brand again which is this one and then I'm gonna add another text and then just gonna put my name Melody oops spelled it wrong Okay, we're gonna put Melody. Oopsie Daisy. Okay. And then after that, what did I do? I didn't do it right, guys. Sorry. Just, I'm just gonna put Melody in there. 
Melody. And what I use is I use this font. Like I feel like I'm I have memorized all my fonts because as what I've said, I want my I want my um YouTube to be cohesive. Like I just want it to be the same. Like I just want um cohesiveness. Like this, I don't know. Maybe that's an OCD thing. But yeah, so I'm just gonna put it right there. Oh, it's not moving. Put it right there, and then it's gonna be. I'm gonna change the color again to white. So yeah, it's, it's not. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. So yeah, that's what I do. And then after that, I am gonna go to shapes again. Go to shapes, elements, and then go to shapes. And then I'm just gonna put like a box that I feel like um would fit the webcam so this is this is what i'm gonna put the webcam in obs i'm just gonna put a box in there maybe i feel like i'm gonna put it right there i think like it's a good size so i'm just gonna turn the color into white just because um i want the background to be white so if if the if it's too noisy for you guys my husband is mowing our lawn and it's close to my office so sorry if it's too loud so yeah i'm just gonna put it right there and after that, um, usually in the bottom here, I put um, all the information, like for example, um, my uh, Facebook page, my Instagram page, and also my website or blog. So I usually put that down there. And then also I can add more um, shapes and then I put something right here, something right here. I'm gonna put it down here. So this will serve as the one with like where I put like maybe new videos or um, what's coming up in my channel and stuff like that. So, so people can see and people can be updated on what's going on with my channel. So yeah, I'm just gonna put something like that. Maybe, um, let me put some text in there so you know what's going on. So, oh, hold on. Heading and I'm just gonna put maybe like a new video. That's for new videos, new video. I'm just going to change the text again and then I'm just going to change the color again. I mean, the text. Oh no, I usually just use like maybe a brown, brown, um, gray for that. It's a gray for that so we can, people can see it better. Oops, it is. So yeah, I'm just going to put it right there. So that will, I, I will put all the clip for the new videos in there. And then after that, I am going to go to. I think I'm not positioning it right, but it's just an example. And I'm going to go to shapes again, go to elements, and then go to shapes. And then I'm just going to put one right here, down here. This is going to be, this is going to serve as like the verse of the day, which I usually do in my stream. So I'm just going to put that like then that color. So that was like the verse of the day. And then after that, I'm going to put a bigger, I'm going to make a bigger shape. I'm going to go to shapes again. I'm going to make a bigger shape. <laughs> I have like messages in my screens so I'm gonna put a bigger shape and then I just put it in that way so this one I, I it's like an approximate size guys just an example this one will serve as the um, spot for the um, what is recorded in my in my web page so yeah so I'm in OBS when I go to OBS I'm just gonna turn that into white it is so noisy in my house guys i'm sorry for all the noise background noise so yeah so this will um this is the spot for my webcam and this is going to be the spot for my uh, my web page where i go to if ever i go to youtube to chrome to facebook so people can see it like it is bigger compared to all the other um elements in my um in my like the layout because so people can really see it clearly so if you can like want to make it bigger if you want to then you can so yeah i'm just gonna make it like a bigger like that so yeah that's it and then also guys um then i leave uh, as what i've said i this is the big spot for the web page in obs and i make sure that it's bigger so people people can really see um, who is watching my stream they can really see the things that I am posting clearly and um, yeah so here's the he's here is the fun part I know about here <laughs> oh yeah so here is the fun part um, once you are done with the layout you can actually change the background every time you go online based on your mood I mean um, and that's my favorite part that's my favorite part to it because I can like change it up every time for example I'm just gonna go to the back to background for example I feel like I am um, Carol Baskin today Carol 
little basket. So I'm just going to change my layout that way. And then um, when you go to OBS, then it is going to be that way. And maybe I feel like I am um, a little bit, I feel like a little bit, um, what do you call that? Oh, I, let me go back. Maybe I feel like I'm a little bit, let's go to background and I feel a little bit flowery or floral. Or no, that's not floral, that's food. Okay, a little bit of food today. Citrusy. So you can change it that way and then maybe some beads or whatever, whatever this is. Beads and some hearts. So you can change it up if it's Valentine's and you go on stream, then you can change it up that way too. And then if it's fall and you want to go to live, go live stream, so there you go. There goes all your pumpkins. So yeah, so um, again, let me go back. Let's see if I can find another one here. So there's like just abstract, there's textures, and there's flowers, which is my favorite also. So you want to go with this one. This is very, very girly. And this one. So yeah. So you can change it up every time depending on your mood. And I love, like that's what I love doing with my, with my live. So, so let me do one more time. Sorry. Now let me do it one more time and I'm probably going to do nature. Let's see what nature brings. I think it's just the same as the other one. So this one is like, <laughs> this one's like perfect for fall. This one right here. So cute. And this one too. Like, yeah, so you can just like really, really play, play with it. Play along with it and see if it's like, what's your mood for the day. And that's it. So um, I'm just going to return to what I used earlier. And I'm going to save that. And then we will proceed to... We will proceed to OBS. Let me just go there. There you go. I'm just going to save that. And then we will... Um, and after that, we're just going to click download. And then I'm just going to change the file type to JPEG or JPG. And then um, just click download. And then it will download it and then we will proceed to OBS. And now guys, we are in OBS. So this is what OBS look like. This is actually what, um, yeah, this is what it looks like when you, when you open the software. So you have to have one scene. Scene is the one that is what is placed or what is um, displayed on your screen. So you can actually have two or three scenes if you want. If you want to put slideshows in there, you can put in a second scene or like a videos if we can put in a third scene. So yeah, but since um, I'm just a beginner and I'm just going to teach you what I really know about all these things. So I'm going to do one scene for now, which is our um, setup or outline for the live stream. So what I do is um, that's the scene and then I'm going to just put the plus sign first. And then I'm going to add an image and then this is going to be the one that we took or we made from. Um, this is going to be the one that we made from Canva. So I'm just going to browse that image. Um, I think it's in my downloads. Yeah. So yeah, this is what, oh, <laughs> sorry. So yeah, this is what it's going to look like. And then uh, actually it will be like that. It's not going to be as the same size as the um, OBS like um, setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reposition that. Reposition it like that. There you go. In that way, um, like if, if you click the image and then it will turn, if it will turn red and that means you can reposition it that way. But if it's blue, that means it, it's like kind of locked on that position and you can't really do anything in it with it. So then after that, I'm just going to go click and um, push, I mean, put that um, plus button again. And then I will go to, hold on. <clears throat> and I will go to video capture device. And then I'm just going to put um, webcam because I'm going to use that as my, um, the one that's capturing my video. I'm just going to put my webcam, say hi. So that's me right there. <laughs> and then I'm just going to move it right here. I'm just actually, I'm going to reposition it again. That's what I've said. I'm going to put it in the spot where I um, made the spot for the video. 
or the webcam in um, Canva. So I'm just going to put it right there. So there you go. Hello, everyone. And then after that, um, I'm going to go to video capture, not display capture, to video capture and then I press OK. And after that, it will just show what I want to show to um, you guys or to my viewers. So I'm just going to press OK with that. You can have an option if you want to go to Chrome or to other um, apps that is open in your screen. I'm just going to go to Chrome. And then, yeah, it's going to be that big. So all you have to do is just to resize it. So I'm just going to resize it that way. And I'm just going to put it to the spot where I and um, already planned to put my web page. So I'm just going to put it that way, maybe. There you go. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be perfect, guys, but that's just how I do it. And then after that, um, as what I've said, there's like a spot for like and share, verse of the day, a new video. And then if you want to put or advertise what's coming up or what new video you posted on your channel, just put um, the plus sign again and then just choose image. And then that will be the, the second image of your um, scene. Then I'm going to press OK and just going to browse again. I'm going to, this since is like my last um, video or the video that I want to promote to my um viewers so i'm just gonna put it like that resize it again and then i'm just gonna move it right here make it a little smaller so people can see it put it right there and there you go so that is usually my setup for obs and for um that's gonna be my setup for obs using canva layout thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet please click subscribe for more tips and tricks about photography and things like this in the future and also please click the thumbs up and click the bell button so you'll be notified every time i post new videos and i'll be seeing you guys in my next video bye